Okay, up next is our defending race winner here at Chicago Land Hi. Speedway. That is Matt Kenseth, and he drives the number twenty dollar General Toyota for Joe Gibbs Racing. And Matt, you're coming in. You won here last year uh, to get off at a good start at the chase, um, and certainly just talk about uh, uh, you know coming in here and, and, and trying to get that win and, and advance to the next round. Yeah, I mean, a lot's happened since I've seen all you guys. Um, I watched half a football game and slept. So uh, I know we've talked about this all week, but, yeah, uh, you know, we had a strong start last year. This is a great racetrack. I, I love coming here, closest closest track to where I grew up. Uh, we had a strong start, but um, Jimmy still beat us in the end. So, anyway, looking forward to getting on the track today and getting to work. It's been a, been a long week and uh, ready to get started. Questions for Matt Kenseth? Anyone to the left? Alan? Hey, Matt. Alan Kavan on NASCAR.com. Uh, last year in the chase, I think you had uh, six top fives, and it still you know, just wasn't enough to get a championship. Under this new format, would you expect that level of performance even, even more so would still be needed to, get a, to win, be a champion? Uh, I don't really know what to expect in the new format. You know, again, and I say this a lot, but you know, there's no magic formula to winning it no matter what the format is, really, because it depends what the other cars do. You, you know what I mean? So, I mean, last year would have been good enough if Jimmy would have ran a little bit worse, you know, because we finished second. So, um, so, so I don't know. I mean, I don't think anybody knows really how it's going to work out. I think you just take it one week at a time and get the best results you can. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, hope that they're good enough, you know, to get you to the next round and so on. Go to the right over here, Marty Smith to the far right, Matt. Marty Smith. ESPN. Matt? Hi. Hey, Marty. So, you don't know how this thing's going to unfold. So, entering it, how do you, like, what? what's your mental approach to this? How uh, Does it differ any from before? You're asking about my mental approach? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, is nah, that a scary prospect? It is scary. Yeah. Um, nah, it doesn't really change at all for me. I mean, for some people, maybe it does, but... Um, you know, it's a, the first race to chase. I'm glad to be in it. I mean, there's never been, uh, you know, the reward has always been there for winning. You know, ever since I started racing everything, you know, it's you know, the most reward is to win and the uh, least reward is to finish last. And I don't really feel like that's any different. So I think we show up with a mindset of trying to win. Uh, if we don't have the car to win on Sunday, we do the best we can to finish as high as we, we possibly can finish. Uh, and then go on the next week and do the same thing. So I, I really don't think it changes. I mean, I know there's possibilities of your strategies maybe varying a little bit. Um, if you're fortunate enough to win Sunday and you're automatically in that second round, you know, maybe your strategy changes as far as, uh, you know, if you had your best car slated to go to Dover, maybe you'd move that back to the to the next round since, um, you know, you're already in it. You know, maybe that type of thing. But other than that, I don't think it really changes. Uh, you, know, you know, you want to finish as high as you can finish every week, you know, no matter what, whether you're in the chase, whether you're out, whether you get knocked out of the first round or you don't. I mean, you're still trying to finish as high as you can, you know, for your sponsors, for your team, for your year-end point standings, you know, because it still counts towards your points. So, um, you know, I think you just take it one race at a time, do your best every week, and see where it turns out. Next up, uh, right here, Nate. His name is Nate Ryan, USA Nate Today. Nate Ryan, USA Today. <laughs> and then Lee. Nate Ryan, USA Today Sports. Uh, kind of following up on that. Do that sports on the end of it for me. Yeah. That's new this year. They like it when I say that. All right. Uh, kind of following up on, on Marty's question uh, and your answer. Yesterday, uh, there was a lot of chatter that mistakes kind of would be the key to the first round, trying to limit your mistakes. And Denny said he'd actually be watching his pit road speed a little bit more on Sunday to try to make sure that he didn't take himself out of the game. Jimmy, though, was just in here and said that that's kind of hard to do. It's easy to think big picture before the race. But once you're in the race, you're just trying to get all you can get. What, what's your take on that? Is there there's a, a kind of a balance there between thinking, I don't want to take myself out, but at the same time, if you overthink it, Worst things could happen. Yeah, I mean, I think you do what comes natural, and you 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 know you do the same things that that you always do. You try to get all you can get without you know getting over that edge. I mean, that's what we do every week. There's just the competition is so tough. You know, besides the 16 in the chase, there's so many good cars out there that haven't won yet, that haven't made the chase. You know, that are going to be out there that you're going to have to beat as well. So, I mean, I, I just think that uh, the competition is so tough. You got to get all you can get every week. You, you never want to make that mistake. Um, you know and get an accent or speed on pit road or whatever the case may be but um on another hand i don't feel like at least in my situation i don't feel like you know we're fast enough to ever be conservative you know what i mean I, you know 
I mean, if you could be conservative and you're so fast and you could win by a half a straightaway instead of a straightaway, okay, but you can't be conservative and run, you know, 16th or 17th instead of, you know, wherever you're going to finish. So I, I think you get all you can get all the time, you know, without obviously trying to make a mistake. We'll go right here to Lee and then to Stan. Lee Spencer, Motorsport.com. Um, talking to your peers yesterday at Media Day, they said that among the trash talkers, you took the cake. What makes good rapport between drivers as, as far as, you know, kind of needling each other? That's weird. I never never knew that or ever thought of that, so I don't, I don't even know where to answer that one. I don't think I ever talk trash. <laughs> I don't think I ever have. No teasing, no nothing. Well... Teasing or having fun with people that are your friends is way different than trash talking in my mind. So I don't think I'm a trash talker at all. Let's go to Stan Far Left. Stan Creekmore with CompetitionPlus.com. Matt, same question I asked Jimmy basically. If you can make it to Homestead, which three drivers do you think would give you the best opportunity to win the championship as competitors? And, and which three do you think would truly be there with you running for that championship? I have no idea. I mean, there's, uh, you know, I think all the, all the cars in the chase are, are good cars, good teams, good drivers, or they wouldn't be in it. Um, nobody knows how this is going to play out, you know, who's going to get eliminated, who's not, uh, you know, so... I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I feel like you've obviously had to go through the 48, you know, to win races and to try to win championships here for the last, whatever it's been, eight or nine years, whenever he won his first one. So, um, you know, obviously if something happened and they got eliminated, you would feel like it's a little bit more open just because they, they're, they're able to step up when the pressure's on every year and when it really counts and, uh, and, and be able to, uh, you know, pull through and win that championship more times than not. And time maybe for one more question. Anybody else have a question for Matt Kinzer? I think that's it, Kerry. I think they're all questioned I think, out. I think it's a wrap. Matt, appreciate you coming in, and uh, good luck. We certainly wish you a lot of luck in the chase. All right, thank you. Thank you.